welcome to pavitra laptop care today i am going to discuss a very important point so very important chipset what is that that is called pch it's most important everyone knows right how how and why it's most important just i'll give introduction and step by step in advanced level complete pch control system i will explain in future videos maybe okay in this just i'm going to introduce the pch what is that pch and what it does what it contains see in simple manner the pch is nothing but an ic like charging ic step down ic ram ic see these are individual ic's right so if you multiple in one chip so that will become as a chipset you know that charging ic partitions and what are the sections everything you know that right so step down also you know ram also you know those are individually it will act it will produce some particular voltages or it will do some particular work but pch also same kind of an ic it includes multiple ic's like this okay it includes multiple sections so i mean to say the pch what the abbreviation plot forum controller hub what it controls that i will tell you i mean to say the pch is an ic it contains multiple section inside this so multiple blocks will be there someone will be very thin and someone will be very big okay so all it made as a combination of ic's so it means it's a part 1 2 3 4 5 Six, seven, like that. Here you can see only one. Here you can see two because it's a three point three and five. Both will be there, right? Here two part and here it's a, here also two part. Like that individually you know already. But in PCH it has multiple blocks sections. So what are those? General instruction I will give. I will take a schematic. So just introduction I will give. actually what i told it's a platform controller hub so it controls a platform which belongs to this pch if this is the pch it controls this particular sections okay so i'll open a schematic then i'll tell you what it controls see if you open in a schematic so generally i open uh, so much anyone randomly it's a 9104p i think so Mm, yes it's a 9104p okay if i open this here it's a processor and here it's a pch it's a separate part if uh, now it is sock is there right sock in the sense it's both combined processor and pch both are combined but here it's a individual pch is individual and processor is so individual if it is combined also their work functionality will be very difficult i mean different one okay so now so we are talking about pch see for example this one this pch name is intel panther point pch hm76 like this in amd also it's a different one okay it has bga 989 balls it has ball bearing array so it has 989 balls pins connections so what it controls what it has platform see the platform is lvds hdmi this is a example lvds it controls lvds connection section it connection 30 pin 40 pin so many sections are there right in my uh, camera so many sections this lvds section will control so which i already told you it's a part 1 so like that its uh, next section is hdmi it's a platform so it will control hdmi section here sata here usb usb 2 here pci here lps bus SD audio, SPI, SPI. See, SPI is a separate part like charging IC. See, this one is USB is a step down IC. So, just example I am giving. 
so on one part it will do individually if we combine all together so it looks like this okay so now the pch from where to where it will start and what it contains on general instructions see it's a very big part it's a page number 19 to 20 sorry page number 13 to 20 so now i will move to page number 30 13 so it will start from page number one see pch it's page number one started here right so i'll give an introduction so what a platform what part it contains see for example number one just we'll assume a part so like i see hmm? first i see what it contains it contains so number one right just a minute yeah see the rtc section so it contains rtc ic rtc it has one two three four five six six pins six main controlling pins okay for this in details in future we can see it just an example i'm giving see rtc means only this section rtc x1 x2 rst ash srtc ash intruder in inter one okay so this is the one i see and this one second second one this is the second ic what is there second ic is lpc 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 what it controls see here it's the lad led 0 led 1 led 2 led 3 the frame sriq okay these are the signals what we call it's a signal actually pch controls through the signals as well as it required power also so here what we are we are seeing here is the part which has signal control not power actually for this particular uh, section power also it's an entirely different section is there that also i'll explain you this particular section has signals now this one is ic number two is lpc so i already told you no it's the second part like that it's a third ic third ic which one it's a ihda ihda is means it's a audio side definition audio Hmm. DA, HDA, high definition audio, audio part, audio IC, like that it controls SATA, it's very big one, okay, SATA, SATA, so how many, 1, 2, 3, 4, like this, how many are there, just we'll check and come, see, 1, 2, ISDA 3, SATA 4, JTAG, jtag 5 spi 6 this are the SATA, right so well if we come to next page here pci e from where to where from here to here next sm bus controller link clocks clocks and here flex clocks these are clock sections in next page what we are going to see dmi this is a communication between processor and pch dmi section fdi also it belongs to uh, what is that uh, operating system and all you will install now that section it contains in future you come to know what is this ah see here it's a system power management this section is very very important one okay system power management some signal is required after this signal only this particular section will enable hmm? some power see this battery low present ac present power button rsm rst dram rst uh, power okay uh, apw okay and so on slp s5 clock see these are system running signals so these are very very important this section you need to observe all the things so 99 percent here only you can uh, uh, get it done I means this section is okay then the laptop will get power on the 
power on before pressing power button and after pressing power button what are the main signals has to come all the signals it will manage the system power management ic okay so here slps5 the uh, sections that uh, s5 2 is 0 all sections are here only s5 s4 s3 right okay so run everything is there so says ri next what it has it has it's a reserve somewhere it's a reserved okay pci usb usb section now next is gpio general purpose input output what are those it's a hard enable means what it is there no that uh, dvd writer that enable signal ec si smi ec lead these are general purpose input output systems CPU miscellaneous. See, along with that uh, DMI and FDI, so many uh, signals also it's required to CPU. Those things are here. Power goat, thermal trip, interman, see, init 3.3, making are there. VSS, VSS is nothing but ground, okay. This particular sections are grounds, VSS. And next sections are power. See, this is very, very important thing. Now, what we observed, these are our main ICs which controls the signals. Through the signals, it controls the device, particular device, maybe USB or CRT or uh, what is that, HDMI. These, what is that, connectivities are there. Now, those things, these all sections will control. I mean, one by one, depending according to the uh, working uh, characteristics, working principles. But main thing is, for this, some section also will be there. It's a power section. RTC power, LPC power. So those kind of sections also will be there. Those things are here. See, it's a CRT section, power section. See what are the power you want for CRT. CRT plus 3VS plus 3VS, right? So for LVDS and here, to run VCC core, the VCC core power 1.05 volts required. Okay, here yeah, to run that particular IC, the IC's input, input power. Here VCC IO section. See here VCC IO 1.05. 1.05. Like that HVC MOS that also is there VCC 3VS DMI section it's already we saw right so then also here it is given because it's a power section DMI section this power if this power is not there your DMI won't work and next FDI section this goes to a CPU right to function this to that power, particular power is required that is PI that RAM related one so for that it's 1.8 VS is required 3 PCH 3 VS. Next, if we come to the next, this is also power section. What section it is? Clock and miscellaneous. See, we have seen many clocks, right? So that is the sections here. Clock section, DSW section, VCC acknowledgement of a clock, uh, 3 PCH C1.05 so many are there one by one you need to check just introduction i'm giving hmm? see pca gpio lpc for lpc and all oh, three pch three vs three vs okay and next see dcp rtc rtc section also is there vcc rt x something is there okay here it's a cpu for cpu io the VCCP is required, CPIO. Next, see RTC power for RTC to function this RTC section, RTC VCC is required. Okay, miscellaneous SDA, miscellaneous SATA. See guys, so one thing I'll tell you, so many people will tell uh, this RTC VCC is not there, then PCH won't work. So many things are there, but this RTC VCC is a part of PCH. It's a one block, okay? It does its own work, okay? It's not like that if RTC is not there, a whole function, it won't come. Not like that, it depends. You need to understand much 
what is that rtc vcc and what it does okay in pch uh, in deeply i will tell you in future uh, sections see this pch what are the voltage required those things you come to know here see power over the page it's a seven and last page it contains grounds see these all are ground okay that's it see it's very easy right see rtc section will do will identify components components are ports right so this one for this power section power ic also will be there including these two it will function as a one okay now you come to know right pch has almost 22 30 sections insert this one is for power and one is for signals now it's a very easy i think so i hope so right pch is very very easy but the thing is you need to understand the particular block what are the signals you have what are the power supply you have if you know these things these hidden things 100 percent you will learn how the pch will work in particular laptop motherboards see all in all motherboard all are same almost all same uh, same rtc same thing but rtc vcc that power source will be there no it will come in latest uh, motherboards it, it will come through the battery or some somewhere it will be inbuilt you can't identify the rtc cell in laptop in latest laptops like that some small modifications will be there some small modification you come to know in latest motherboards okay so uh, apart from this so there is no much difference between uh, old uh, pch and latest pch pch is platform controller hub it controls the particular section of port or components it controls that's it okay for controlling system the separate voltage the particular section voltage should be required so that power what we call it's a power that you come to know what are the signals and what are the powers okay that's it i hope you understood it's a very simple one if you understood well so you can join our course if anybody want uh, anybody interested to join our uh, Bhavitra laptop care you are always welcome you can send message to my whatsapp number or telegram number uh, you can ask any doubts regarding the course or whatever it may be hmm? we are doing one is to one uh, ratio course so to know much so you can call us or message me us okay thank you thank you very much